guys, welcome. So, this morning in my Bible study, um, <clears throat> I, um, been wondering a lot about politics, I've been wondering a lot about things in this world, and Jesus has been talking to me through his word, and I think that we should really be abstaining from everything. First of all, we don't even know if these people are human, okay? And, I, and that's all I gotta say. I've heard people say some things, and we don't even know if they're human. So, um, our battles are not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and the heavenly realms, against dark, dark forces of this world. So as I was reading this morning, the word brought me into Daniel chapter 6, where Daniel, so the governors were trying to find something corrupt about Daniel, but they couldn't find anything corrupt about him. So um, they thought, well, we could find, we can get him to stumble if we come against, you know, what he's doing. He's praying to his God. And so he does this three times a day, and he's faithful. And so if we, if we make a law, a decree, that he cannot pray, um, and only has to pray to the king, um, that's one way we can have him fall, right? So they put a law into place, King Darius, <clears throat> and um, at first, King Darius... He didn't even realize he was being tricked. So this is why you gotta be careful with these people today because something's gonna happen and they're gonna be tricked just like King Darius. They might have good intentions, both people. Like they might be truly wanting to help people, but there is something up here that's ruling over them and they might be get tricked. They might be getting tricked. Like King Darius tricked, was being tricked by the other governors to put a law into place and it was about religion, so be careful. So I believe the Holy Spirit's trying to show me something here, and that's why I'm trying to give warning, because something's going to happen, and I feel that too, and a lot of other people feel that too. Um, we're not going to have that kind of freedom soon. I don't know what's going to happen, but, you know, Dar King Darius was tricked. So when he found out, well, they found Daniel praying three times a day because he couldn't. They made a law in effect. And he didn't obey that law because he worships God, not people. So he was praying three times a day to his God, and they saw him. And he, he was praying in the window for everyone to see. So they come in, they take him, um, and they and the ad, the addict, the addict was I might be saying that wrong. I apologize. Is is that he would be thrown in a lion's den. And eaten by the lions so they throw him into the lion's den now daniel didn't do anything wrong because he didn't do anything wrong towards king darius and nor towards god so he didn't get eaten by the lion but king darius was so troubled that he could not eat his food that night and he actually basically did a fast if anyone was paying attention, he he didn't have any kind of entertainment brought to him. He was so troubled because he knew who Daniel was. And he didn't even, he didn't need someone to tell him because he knew who Daniel was. He knew that he was a good man, a faithful man, and knew that he wasn't the corrupt. Um, and be, because his law was put in a place, they couldn't go back, and so he couldn't do anything, even though he was the king. So, you know, these people. Your important people are going to deceive you in the last days. It says that in the book of Revelation. So we do see a great deception when it comes to politics at times, right? A lot of people are like, oh, you know, this person's going to do this, but they never do that. Oh, this person's going to do this, but they never do that. They just kiss you with their lips, but their heart is far from you. You know, just like we kiss God with our lips and then our heart is far from him. You know, they're people pleasers. But, um... For the longest time since last year, the Lord's been preparing me for persecution as far as like scriptures. So I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but he keeps showing me things about dying for the faith and showing me Christian martyrs all over the world. So I don't know what's going to happen in the future, um, but the Bible does say that God prepares his people before things actually happen. So I honestly believe he's preparing us for something that will happen in the future and we need to be prepared in our faith. We need to, like, even Peter, Jesus prepared Peter for the kind of death that he was going to have 
And he said, when you're an old man. So it didn't happen right away. When he was an old man, he died for the faith. So who knows what's going to happen to me or you. But um, there's a couple of scriptures he gave me. Philippians chapter 4, which he's been showing me for the longest time. God cares for us. And so don't be anxious about the things you hear or what I'm saying. Because it's not to fear, make anybody afraid. Um, we cast our cares and our anxieties on him. Like God was working with Peter to strengthen him in the faith. That he could do such a thing. That he could die for the faith. You know. Um, you remember the first time he was afraid and he fell away right he denied that he even knew jesus so he was an old man when he died for the faith so jesus was working on his faith muscles um in time and he eventually was able to have the courage to die for the faith so another thing is when it comes to politics jesus really did not seem to really care okay and you need to pay attention to the way jesus is responding about certain things when it comes to taxes and when he was talking to pontus pilate he basically said in john nineteen eleven, jesus answered you would have no um power over me if it were not given to you so it was god who gave him power over jesus at that time to to basically persecute him right for um for from above so god gave him power from above therefore the one who um the one who uh hands me over um to you is given into a great sin so jesus said in the last days people are going to betray each other family members so what you see what happened to jesus his own family basically his own group judas the scarlet walked with him closely and then eventually betrayed him for what 30 pieces of silver so you see the cardinal you see the cardinal um the flesh of judas he was led by the pleasures of his flesh he had the lust of the eyes of pride of life these things don't come from god but comes from the world and jesus talked a lot about money but judas was not paying attention just pay attention what's going on okay a lot of people are promising things and jesus said in the last days there'll be false messiahs a false messiah is a false deliverer a flaw a false a false savior in the last days there'll be false saviors there will be people who will rise up and saying i will i will make this country great again i i will deliver us from all of this be careful in the last days there will be false messiahs they may not come out and say they're the messiah like jesus didn't come out and say uh, he did to the disciples but <clears throat> as a large group of people remember we were talking about this yesterday in the live he didn't make it known to them he talked to them in parables but for those who were close to him he said i am the messiah and he also said this to the religious people who would have known if they were reading the word properly they would have known that because he said you search the scrolls uh, diligently but you don't, yet you don't see that i am in front of you so um john first john 1 7 it says but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another um and the blood of jesus his son has purified us from all sins so if we're really walking with jesus we're being sanctified and and um we're being purified we have to walk the way jesus did so that's what peter said we read the book of peter a little bit of it and peter said that i'm following the death of messiah like he literally was following him even paul said i'm following the death of the messiah jesus said if you come after me you will die for the faith so um look at the times that we're living in this is the reservoir in new jersey it's almost dried up you see that where there's there's a little bit of water right there it used to be all the way by the trees it's drying up very quickly actually because uh, we had a lot of rain last year we didn't have this problem new jersey was like a a rainforest last year now look at the grass all dried up look at the trees look at look at all this we're the garden state for a reason now it looks like a desert 